welcome to the X-ray station. This can be quite an interactive station with lots of questions and they can ask you bits and bats as well. So you can start off by asking the children if they've ever had an X-ray before and ask them what their experience at the hospital was like, just to make sure that the other children that have never had one won't be scared of having them because there's no pain involved. Um, then you can press the light at the back of the light box, like so, um, with one of the x-rays attached to the light box, but then they can see another x-ray that's been done before. So you can get down to their level, and sometimes we also have a plastic skeleton, which makes it seem more real to them, so they can compare the bones on the x-ray to what the bones actually look like. So you can explain and point to the different bones, for, for example, rather than us saying this is the clavicle, to make it more memorable to them, you could say this is the collarbone and point to the collar on their shirt to help them remember it as a remembrance aid. Then for the more interactive part, you could ask for two volunteers, so you could get two of the maybe more keen or maybe the more quiet children to come up um, and get their teddy to bed to stand in front of the x-ray machine. And without them looking to give away the illusion, get another um, x-ray film and pop it in, ready. Their other friend could come round and there's a button on top of the x-ray box here. Which, and then you could say after a count of three and then their friend will press it. So the x-ray has been taken. Then you could ask them to sit down and pop the teddy x-ray onto the x-ray box. And then turn it on so that they can all see the x-ray. And then you can just repeat the process, asking the different bones, and of course they will look slightly different depending on the five or six different x-ray films that we have with us. Also, as another point, a lot of the children at the various schools that we visit are actually studying the chest in their science classes. So once we've done the teddy x-ray, we could point to this and ask them what it is, just to say that it is the heart, and then you could talk about what it does, so it pumps the blood around the body. Um, and then we could also point to the various spaces, which are obviously to us the lungs, and we can tell them that's what they do, and you could get them to breathe in and out so that they know that, that's, that they fill with air and that's how they work.